welcome back to my kitchen and I am going to be bringing you another what's for dinner video this time I cooked some of my marinated chicken in my crock pot and I am going to cook some rice and green beans for dinner for a side to go with it I will show you my process the chicken already cooked for three and a half hours in the crock pot here and it looks delicious. This one is a balsamic herb glazed or balsamic herb chicken and the marinade looks delicious. I have my water boiling now and I'm gonna get my green beans or some butter in my pan and get my green beans cooked up in there. And I am using jasmine rice and canned green beans for my side today. And I will get this going and show you what the final plated product looks like, but that chicken looks delicious. All right, so our dinner is done. Our green beans are cooked. I used some butter and some of the Trader Joe's 21 seasoning salute for that. And then this is our balsamic herb chicken marinade that I made in my meal prep video. And we are going to be trying it out for the first time. My husband's is a full chicken breast. Mine has half a chicken breast on it. And we have some jasmine rice. And that is our dinner for tonight. All right, so I'm back with night two of dinners. This is a my second marinated chicken that I had in the freezer. It is in the crock pot now. It's been cooking for just about three and a half hours and it's getting close to being done. I have some leftover white rice that I'm going to have as a side with it and also some green beans. I am not sure how I'm going to like the flavor of this one. The smell of it is not my necessarily favorite, but we'll see how we like the flavor on this one and I will let you guys know. Um, I will show you guys the final product in just a little bit. All right, so this is the final product, green beans that are seasoned with the 21 seasoning salute from Trader Joe's, some white jasmine rice, plain, and then this one is the Honey Dijon Chicken Marinade. I tried a little piece of it and it's, I feel like it would be really good, but it also has apple cider vinegar in it and something about that flavor mixed with everything. It just was too much for me. So I probably will not be eating this chicken. I have some leftover chicken in the fridge. So my husband's gonna eat this one and it may not be one that I make again. Or if I do, I will make the vinegar much less in my next recipe. All right, so this is night number three of my chicken marinades that I have tried out from that recipe back in my um, meal prep video. This one was in the freezer, I pulled it out. I made them on the 26th of February and it is today the 15th of March. So I pulled it out of the freezer, I put it in the refrigerator and it was still kind of frozen um, this morning, well not even this morning, this afternoon when I pulled it out. So I'm going to throw this into my crock pot, put it on low and it'll be cooking for three and a half ish hours maybe a little bit more um i will put it to go i need to grab a crock pot liner out because otherwise the sauces stick to my crock pot and it makes a big mess and it makes it harder to clean so my crock pot liners i will pull one out and put it inside here and then put the chicken in that and yeah i will show you guys what i do with it after this is a southwest chicken marinade so I'm planning on pulling out some tortillas and doing like a burrito, chicken burrito kind of night. So I will show you guys that when I get that going in a couple of hours. So for right now, I'm gonna put this in the crock pot. I might show you a little bit of that and then you guys will see the final product. So the chicken is done. I added some corn and black beans to it in the last like 20 to 30 minutes it was cooking. It cooked on low. I have it off now and there are some juices in there. I'm going to try to get out the stuff without the juices because we are going to be making them with tortillas. I have flour tortillas that I'm going to do some tacos. I'm going to make them shredded chicken tacos. So I shred 
shredded the meat up already and then i have some white rice in there i didn't want to add too much flavor because the marinade had a bunch in it already and i will show you after i get these tacos made and these i have to warm these tortillas up first and then i'll make the tacos and i'll show you the final product for this meal all right so here are our chicken tacos this is the southwest chicken marinade that i used there is chicken I added corn and black beans to the chicken mixture and white rice is underneath all of that and then I have a little bit of cheese on top. I'm going to put some more but I just did a little bit so that way you guys can see what they look like. And that is our final dinner for this video. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more like this, please leave me some comments down below and let me know that you like this one. And if you haven't already, please click that red subscribe button and join the YouTube family. Hope to see you soon. Bye!